The biggest liquidity is now below us. We should expect a bounce back to the upside. Target of that is at 64,700 to 65,000. Dollars. It looks like markets are ready to recover and we are potentially in the early stages of a really, really nice bounce back to the upside. Let's talk about this and let's go guys. Welcome back and thank you so much for tuning in here again. Let's directly jump into the DXY. The DXY is looking to potentially pull back here today uh, with the current candle uh, forming a doji. Um, most likely you know, when we are going to close the candle as it is today, we're going to get on Monday continuation to the downside, which will be, of course, again, lead to a relief rally in risk on assets. That's what we are looking for. Uh, if we are for some weird reason start moving it to the upside because we are above the yellow dotted line, uh, it then, of course, um, be prepared for another shakeout in uh, the market overall. So I will determine that by uh, how we close today below or above the yellow line, um, what to expect for the coming week. And based on that, we can prepare ourselves. Now, something really, really quick before we move on to Bitcoin, because yesterday I made a big mistake, guys. I was talking about the World Series of Traders on a Bybit and also that you can still get here the $50 early bird bonus. You, you still get the early bird bonus, guys. Don't worry about this. But I forgot to post the link. I was uh, so in my zone yesterday that I forgot to post the link. Today, I fixed it. So now when you go into the description and into the pinned comment of this video, you will be able to see the link. Join the team, uh, claim your $50 uh, early bird bonus, and then we are going to make some really, really nice money here together. Also, don't forget to join the new Telegram group. Link is already in the video description. We're going to trade the World Series of Traders there together. I'm there more or less the whole day while I'm awake and posting trades over trades that are highly profitable. Um, we started today with this. So go and also join the free Telegram group, guys. If you're looking for uh, some free money also on Bybit, don't forget, if you only deposit $100, you can claim a $500 airdrop position on any of these coins here, guys. Any of these coins, you can claim that position. Uh, the only thing that you need to do for that is deposit $100, claim uh, the airdrop voucher in the reward hub, use the voucher, and then all the profits that you make out of that position belong to you. Again, link in the description and then a comment for that. So now let's talk about Bitcoin, because as you can see here, the new 12-hourly candle... Uh, that we just opened is already moving here to the yeah, upside. Uh, we talked about yesterday that as long as we are holding here the $60,500 uh, $60, level in this VPVR cluster, we should expect a bounce back to the upside. And this is exactly what we are seeing here right now. Uh, here currently, the level that I'm looking at where we are potentially heading next to is here this imbalance all the way up to $62,875. So this imbalance is from this green candle here to this um, basically wick of that green candle from wick to wick in between is the imbalance of this candle so now of course we had other uh, we had a following candle that closed a little bit out of that imbalance already but not completely so we still need to go up a little bit higher to um, close this imbalance completely so expect here a move over the next um, I would say 48 hours into the $63,000 level, which is not that crazy, you know, so that's like a 3% move for Bitcoin, two and, yeah, actually 2.5% move. Um, nothing really crazy here. The indicators are also absolutely in alignment uh, for that. The stochastic is coming up here with a buy signal. The MACD is losing momentum uh, on the sell side. It's also turning around, and the RSI is also slightly going up here. Uh, and also here on the VPR, VPVR cluster, you see that here we are now more or less entering this void space uh, where we don't have a lot of resistance, at least not on this chart, uh, which would, which should uh, help us to propel us all the way back up to like the $63,000 level. And from there, we have to reassess on the higher timeframes what's going to happen here. Uh, on the daily chart, nothing has really changed. We are now 221 days into this um, sideways movement also here. I still believe that uh, we will really, really soon come out of that 
uh, insane eight month long uh, sideways move. Uh, here really important, the super trend is about to be reclaimed. Uh, remember, I told you this might be only short lived. Uh, as long as we are holding here the bottom support, I would expect a bounce uh, back and a reclaim uh, of the super trend indicator. And that's exactly what we are seeing here. We are at the, at the top of the range right now, uh, <clears throat> most likely reclaiming that uh, with today's daily close and getting continuation then um, into tomorrow. On this daily chart also, uh, here you see the mid-range level um, is the next logical target. We are putting in here, in, uh, we have put in, a tweezer bottom and you could argue you could argue that these four candles together um, form a distorted uh, morning star pattern which is also a reversal pattern uh, and the target of that is initially also here the mid-range level at 64,700 to 65,000 dollars um, on this daily chart I don't believe that we're going to see another flush to the downside below 60,000 dollars I think this is done and dusted um, the market makers uh, and uh, other participants in the market were trying to break uh, the $60,000 level and were unsuccessful in doing so and uh, therefore the uh, we are now back um, on track to go here to the upside. Uh, this of course can change if something crazy, uh, really really crazy happens again in the Middle East uh, but for now I don't believe that. I actually read something um, that I believe is the most likely outcome and that was that Israel is not attacking Iran currently uh, because they want the full backing of the US and the US cannot give the full backing because uh, Joe Biden has to do it. And if Joe Biden doesn't do it because he's right now incompetent, um, so to speak, and incoherent, uh, Kamala needs to step in to do it. And then again, people will think, okay, what's up with Joe Biden? He's not capable to do it, which again puts a bad light on the current administration. So therefore, they just wait until after the elections and if Kamala gets elected then she will give them all the help that they need if Trump is elected he he will not give them anything so um, but that's basically what's uh, what's happening here right now most likely until the 5th of November um, nothing is really going to happen um, in the in the Middle East with the Iran Israel situation so now back here to the charts and enough of politics uh, here on the on the four hourly time frame the MDX algo gradient when you look close at it, you see that the candles start to warm up here again to go into um, the um, purple colored. And you see every time when we get here into purple colored area after the blue zone, uh, we have a phase where we pump to the upside and price starts to heat up and we either get continuation or we are rolling over and um, move here back to the downside. So here I'm not really interested directly if we move instantly here into a hot zone or not. Uh, because the imminent resistance is here, the downward sloping red trend, uh, trend line currently at $62,000. So this is the level that I'm interested in. I want that we are reclaiming this. If you're in a long position currently with Bitcoin, that is in the short term the level, the first one that you want to look at how Bitcoin is behaving around this. If we're able to break above this and continue or if we are struggling, chop sideways, come a little bit lower and then maybe break through it or even get rejected back. Uh, close to the uh, $60,000 mark. Uh, again, from what I'm seeing on the higher time frames, uh, higher time frames dictate what's uh, what's happening on the lower time frames overall. Uh, so they always proceed um, the lower time frames. Higher time frames all point to one thing, and this is upside. So even here, if we would even retrace back to like 60,800, 500, something like this, I would be not concerned about this because we know next week uh, we should get a powerful move um, with Bitcoin here to the upside and complete uh, this current bounce trajectory that we are forming here so because don't don't be don't ignore this guys you know so this definitely looks like a rounding bottom a rounding local bottom um, where we get continuation so let me show you other scenarios so here rounding bottom rounding bottom every time we pumped uh, into higher levels here also rounding bottom every single time we continue to move to the upside and i expect nothing less happening uh, from the current levels that we are seeing then on the liquidation side uh, they are also in confluence uh, from uh, of uh, what i just mentioned uh, here uh, the uh, liquidation levels on the short side are all above us so uh, they are all highly over leveraged as you can see 
uh, and this is the closest um, liquidity that is able for graphs for market makers. So what they're going to do, they go the easy way and not the hard way. The easy way is now to push the market up to around sixty. Seven thousand dollars. Then most likely we're gonna get another correction back to like sixty four, sixty three, and then we start moving into the seventy thousand dollar area. That is what I'm expecting here. Of course, first we need to reclaim the EMA ribbon around sixty two thousand seven hundred dollars, um, and with a retest also here on the fifty moving average that might give us some resistance on the way up here at sixty three thousand four hundred dollars at the time when we are going to touch it. But once we are above the fifty moving average, uh, we should be good um, to move here finally above that resistance of um, $65,800. That is currently our strongest resistance because you see here, when we tried to break it uh, a couple of days back, uh, that was the area that we were struggling the most with uh, to continue to pump here into higher price levels. So again, pay attention to that when we get up there. But of course, um, I, I gonna warn you, you know, so I gonna warn you come out with a new video or post in the Telegram channel. Uh, something so that you know what's actually going on. Then on the liquidation heat maps, uh, let's see how we are looking here now. Um, over the last 24 hours, okay, so here the biggest liquidity is now, of course, uh, below us for a simple reason. Everybody went long at $60,000 or even um, a little bit higher than that because everybody understands that this is only short-lived what we're experiencing right now and we are most likely in the bounce area currently for Bitcoin with continuation to the upside. Again, the uh, liquidity is currently, let me put it this way, the liquidity that's closest to current price action is above us, not below us. So even if we go back down, we will most likely first touch $61,860 to $62,000 before we see any retracement because we are just so close currently uh, to these levels. It just makes sense that we uh, get pushed a little bit higher before we go lower. Then let's talk about the total market cap, uh, total free. Also here we are trying to reclaim the $588 billion level. Um, here also reversal pattern in progress, Morningstar pattern. Uh, if we close here slightly above the $587.67 billion mark, uh, above that horizontal level, expect that we are getting another retest of $600. $42 billion. And of course, this will coincide with a massive, massive move here in altcoins for us once again. Uh, speaking of altcoins, when we go into the Bitcoin dominance, here we see a slight retracement um, to the downside uh, in today's candle, but I don't give it um, too much uh, weight um, currently because I still think if Bitcoin starts to turn around and makes an really really crazy move of like two three four thousand dollars that we could reach 59 60 percent on the bitcoin dominance before we see a proper turnaround and finally break uh, the rising wedge here uh, to the downside uh, once again guys if you want to trade altcoins and you want to stand a chance to win here 500 dollars uh, on today's show actually um, i will do the other 500 dollars on Sunday or on Monday, uh, not sure yet. Uh, you only need to deposit $100 on Zoomax, guys, uh, to be eligible for that giveaway. I give every week $1,000 away here uh, with Zoomax. Uh, you just need to sign up, deposit $100. That's all what you have to do uh, to be eligible for that. Um, so take advantage of that with the link in the description and the pinned comment below. And um, by the end of this video, I'm gonna uh, pick another winner of $500. So one of the trades that I'm currently in myself is uh, Rune for a really, really simple reason. I saw this yesterday already that the indicators are about to turn around and we were talking about this. Um, don't forget, I mentioned this, uh, that the indicators are about to turn around here and that things start to look really, really bullish. And that was the exact reason why I opened earlier a trade on Rune. Um, I'm not crazy up in profit right now, but I'm also only trading on 5X, but I just want to show it to you. So currently on this position, I'm up 2% from where I entered it. This trade was posted in the free Telegram group. Um, there, you would have caught, there you would have caught it if you would have seen it. Why did I open a trade? Really simple. This 12 hourly candle is previously one uh, candle was pumping all the way up into the middle of the EMA ribbon and to the yellow dotted resistance line, which is also the entry level of that trade setup here. 
uh, now the current uh, um, 12 hourly candle tries to pump higher with all the indicators in alignment for continuation to the upside. I don't care about if it takes a couple of days that we come up here to these levels simply for, the, for that reason that the indicators are telling me that we are overextended on the bearish side and that momentum is coming back to favor the bolts and that means that price has to expand um, into higher levels and also here we have potentially formed a rounding uh, local uh, bottom. As long as we stay above the yellow line, the yellow dotted line, I expect that Rune will really, really, really quickly move back uh, to here the $5.24 cent level. Uh, and once we are above that level and turn this into support, we will get continuation um, into around $6. So I have here one take profit point at $5.22.5 and, uh, and the other one I have at exactly uh, $6.00. Uh, on this trade setup. Again, guys, remember every time when we hit a take profit point, we adjust the take profit first to uh, slightly above the entry level. And then when we hit the second take profit point, uh, so they are close to position. But if you want to keep riding this, uh, this trade, then I set it to the top of the uh, first take profit point at $5.22. Um, you have like a 15% uh, stop loss basically, which normally should not get touched, you know, so normally, I say normally, then I don't say it cannot be touched, but normally it should not get uh, touched. So it's a really big stop loss that you have here from that second take profit point. So, but he, I definitely expect some downwards movement when we get there before we uh, see your continuation to the upside. So, but um, yeah, for this specific trade setup, um, I will close out my trade completely when we reach that second take profit point. Uh, then another trade setup is ICP. Uh, I was uh, going through some charts and saw that ICP also looks extremely bullish here right now. Let me explain. Uh, we are trying to stay above the 200 moving average. If we can close the current 12 hourly candle above it or move into the entry level of $8.25, I might be inclined to open here a trade. The only thing that, that you should do at the same time is have a tight stop loss. So I will first put the stop loss a little bit higher than the original one to um, around the $8 mark. And my first take profit point will be here at $9.62 and then the final one at almost $11. Um, <clears throat> for the simple reason, I wanna see how we are uh, reacting when we get back into this big supply area here on the MDX algo. And so there is uh, definitely some resistance in it. And I wanna see first um, how price is going uh, to behave um, when we get back into this level. So that's why I'm gonna take some profit off the table, raise my stop loss, and then um, we can decide if we keep this trade um, and not get re heavily rejected uh, and trade this into the last take profit point. So here also, same scenario uh, like on, on most of the altcoins, we see here momentum shifting back to the upside on the MACD uh, because seller side is losing momentum. The stochastic uh, is extremely bullish uh, here right now um, by the look at it. Uh, only the RSI is going sideways uh, currently. The reason for this is that we are fighting with the 200 moving average to stay above that. But once this moving average is reclaimed, we should get a continuation and also a turnaround um, here in the RSI. Then Telegram, another coin uh, that was good to enter. Look, we got uh, to our entry point here all the way down, bounced off from there. So if you had uh, your uh, limit orders down here, you should have gotten filled. Uh, otherwise, you can still enter at current levels. Honestly, I would still enter at current levels because it doesn't make a huge difference. Uh, you are like, um, how much away from this? 5%, you miss around um, a little bit less than 5%, so there's still 15% to go to the upside, uh, which is still more, more, th more than enough. Just your stop loss, um, if you enter currently here, it needs to be where everybody else entered at $5.11 so that you have kind of the same... Um, risk to reward ratio on, on this trade setup. So why did I um, pick this specific level? Because it was before uh, resistance down here, then we broke above it and it was support. It was also support over here and over here and we every single time only scratched on it since um, the by the end of August, we only scratched on it only here that outlier to the downside and every other single time we got only really, really close to it. That's why I placed my uh, entry down there. And again, you see here the indicators showing the same thing like on every other altcoin 
uh, on most of the altcoins with momentum uh, momentum uh, shifting back into bearish hand, uh, bullish hands on the on the MACD stochastic going up RSI going sideways because we are also here currently in a, a resistance area uh, but once that is um, cleared we move immediately all the way up to like five dollars and 60 cents and from there we need to reassess uh, the situation um, if we are keeping the trade or if telegram has too much uh, resistance above us and need and we need to close the trade really really simple then with render a uh, render was also a trade that i had given in the telegram group uh, you see here uh, we sniped the entry at uh, five dollars and uh, four cents um i cannot pull it up currently uh, but that's where we entered. We are running here into, also into resistance at $5.60. Uh, look at this here. So this will be a really, really nice V-shaped recovery overall, in my opinion. We are just in process of um, uh, moving higher here, but we need to break $5.60 to get this. Uh, we could first see a small pullback. If you miss this trade, you might get another chance to enter at $5.30, uh, 6.5 uh, before we continue to move here higher. So take advantage of that if we are getting the specific level. Um, on the four hourly time frame, it looks like that we are running out a little bit here in terms of momentum because stochastic is um, quite high. RSI already pointing down. Only MACD is bullish. Uh, but again, MACD is lagging. Uh, only on the higher time frames, we are still looking a little bit better. Um, here, again, like most other coins, um, continuation to the upside overall on all these indicators then phantom uh, phantom surprisingly now got rejected from the 62 cent level i was so close to enter a trade uh, but i just see now uh, what's actually happening here so it was good that, that i waited to do that we are still of course above the 200 moving uh, 50 moving average which is bullish as long as we are holding the specific level here um, but on the MACD is still a lot of bearish momentum currently sitting. The stochastic RSI did not print a buy signal yet. And the RSI is also going to the downside. So here we should definitely still wait. Maybe the current 12 hourly candle or the next 12 hourly candle uh, to get a reclaim of the 62.5 cent level before I would enter this. And if you want to be really, really safe, you wait until 63 cents and 7 before you make any move here. Uh, on phantom uh, then fetch fetch um, also nice move here already on the daily i would not say you would be too early to enter currently uh, so if you want to enter this here you might get another chance to enter this at the original um, entry level here of what was it uh, one dollar and 36.5 we're not far away from that basically just uh, one percent or so you can wait for that but uh, if we start tomorrow a green candle going up here you enter better as fast as you can because otherwise this trade is running away from you and you would need then to enter at a dollar 43 almost um, for a safe entry so watch this um, if we're not coming back down here a little, a little bit you might want to enter this uh, at any given point above the current entry level before this trade is running away and you maybe even miss here the secondary entry on this trade setup because here stochastic about to print a buy signal i believe tomorrow we will have a lighter red candle on the macd which shows us momentum turning around and also the rsi is already showing here um, a curved indication uh, back to the upside which is telling me that um, we should get tomorrow a nice move here uh, in fetch um, also on a 12 hourly chart yeah things looking definitely not all too shabby here uh, so yeah be prepared for a nice move by by tomorrow then injective injective i must say on the daily chart is one of the coins that looks most bullish to me in terms of the indicators uh, because look at this stochastic rsi how beautiful this is pointing to the upside for a buy signal today uh, only the macd remains a little bit bearish uh, but also the rsi pointing here in a nice angle to the upside the bounce also really nice and again we bounced off that big entry zone level that we have marked out a couple months ago um yeah so this is here for a couple months already this is here since summer since june currently so here uh, current levels really, really good to enter i would not wait to enter this if you want to trade this and the next 
imminent level of resistance is here almost $24, $23.88. That's where I would set my take profit level. Uh, let me make this easy for you. So look here, this is like a 20% move to the upside from current price levels um, with, let's make it free. So with here a 6.66% uh, stop loss. So here 5x guys, 5x more than enough. You don't need to over leverage yourself. 5x is more than enough here uh, because this can move really, really quickly uh, within a week all the way back up to almost $24 uh, and most likely will continue to pump higher from here because we have potentially formed here now a triple bottom. One, so basically here, one, two, two is always the lowest, three, higher low, if we move here above $19.96 approximately, move to the upside. Ethereum uh, also bounced off that uh, $2,350 level that we were talking about. I warned you guys, I said, if we get it, enter here a trade, you will most likely not get this ever again once we are moving away from it. Now we are slightly moving away from it. The indicators here also extremely uh, bullish looking with the MACD potentially after tomorrow printing a buy signal. Um, the stochastic did already, only needs here a small uptick. The RSI is going sideways currently um, because we are also here below a resistance level of $2,400. That's why we're struggling a little bit uh, to go back up. But once that is cleared, the next level would be $2,500. And then here this downward sloping resistance line that um, the last time that we came up here has actually uh, rejected us. Solana, oh, this Solana trade just got activated with the current four hourly candle. The stochastic is a little bit overextended, uh, might roll over, but that does not mean that uh, Solana stops running here because the MACD is bullish uh, with a buy signal, the RSI is bullish. We had a bullish divergence here. Uh, when you look here at this price going down, but RSI going up. Uh, that bullish divergence mm, is right now in process of playing out. Uh, here, it would be not too late to enter this right now because we are not even a percent away from the entry level. Um, the first take profit point would be at a dollar, uh, $147 approximately and the second one at 155 and there I would close the position out because also here you see in this top region we were struggling uh, to move higher so I would not risk it. We can always enter um, back at around the $155 level in my opinion because once we get up here and we would take profit even if we get a wick a little bit higher I expect that we will come back down here and that's where we're going to enter then the next time and then trade this into $180 and above all the way from here once we're getting here and uh, Solana is also looking um, ripe right now for a nice V-shaped recovery overall to at least, like I said, the $155 um, dollar mark. Again, if you want to trade all these coins on a decentralized platform because you cannot use Bybit, Binance and all these other platforms because you are in a restricted country, I will leave a link to AlphaX in the pinned comments and the um, uh, in the description of the video. Uh, check out this exchange. Just for signing up, you still get $100. There's still uh, 29, 29 people can still claim uh, the $100. So be quick because I think by tomorrow it's done. Within three days, we gave away then uh, $10,000 um, to you guys. So take advantage. You only need to sign up to claim it. How much easier can I make it for you guys to get free money? Really, you know, so just sign up there and get your free $100 for signing up on Alpha X. So now let's go to ZoomX uh, to uh, winner here. Um, we have from 19 to 45. I, as you can see, I added some more people here. Um, and the winner for today is number 27. 27. So 28127086. You have won $500. Send an email to info at uh, amcrypto.us. My team um, will forward uh, your screenshot that shows that you own this account to the ZoomX team. Uh, now they're really quick at crediting uh, the winners. So be quick because you have only 24 hours. Then I will give this $500 to somebody else if you're not uh, fast enough. Thank you so much for watching again, guys. Uh, don't forget, smash up the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you with more profits tomorrow.